<laughs> hi there. Uh, hi, I'm Mr. Gardner. Uh, I'm Mr. Cotton. And in this short video, we're going to look at adding time limits to our maze game. Yeah, two strands to that is creating the time of variable in the first place. Yeah, and then there's a couple of different ways to count that variable down. Mm. So we're going to mm. look at two different ways. Okay, well, right, I'll drive. Okay, so we're going to put all the script for this timer and this timer variable on the stage. So if you're not already on the stage, I am. this is where you want to be going. And then make sure you're on the scripts panel. Okay. Okay, I'll show you method one. Uh, which, first of all, is to create a timer variable. So on the left of the screen, you can see the Already score into variables variable. Yeah. yeah, but if we make another one yep. and call it time or timer. Time. I think time is good. OK. OK, there it is. Right. Uh, now, like we did with the sound, to keep things clean, we're going to have a whole new block of script. So if you go to Control, uh, yep. pick when up green a green flag. flag. OK, yeah. yep. Uh, and before we do anything else, we'll go back to variables. Mm. And we'll give ourselves a time limit. We'll set the score. Well, not the score this time. Oh, I'll the change timer. it into a timer. Yeah. Set that variable uh, to a maximum time limit that we'll count down. So let's say 10, ten seconds to, yeah, ten for this demonstration. Do. Probably not quite enough time. No. But you can always change that later. Although there's a bit of a challenge for the user. Yeah. Well, that shark's pretty tricky. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and now we're going to need this loop, this iteration, this going round and round again. So back to control. Yeah. Do a forever loop. Yeah. And then back to variables, a little bit of clicking here. And yeah. then change the timer. Oh, timer, yep. Yeah. By what by one. Will that go down by one? Well that's gonna go up from ten. We want to go down from ten. So if okay. you put a minus, minus one. one in there. Okay, and then drag that into drag it in. But what we want to do after we've changed the number is wait for a second. So that we're waiting ten seconds. So under control, we've literally been clicking back and forth between these. There's a wait one second. That oh, can just go inside the loop. Yep. Above or below doesn't matter too much nope. at this stage. And that is basically the script for a countdown timer from ten. Now so, have a look on the screen where this timer variable yeah, appears. Just there, look. Uh, I mean that's pretty good because it's not crashing in the maze, but you might I could need move to that move around, that. I might move it there and put it in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's hit the green flag and yep. see if we've got 10 seconds. See, I can move about while yeah, the time's going. Oh. Six, five, well, I did, I, four, three, unfair challenge. two, <laughs> oh! one. Oh, back to the beginning. Oh, well, minus no, one. Well, you've coded minus, it. Minus, oh, uh, I can keep going. Yeah, right, okay. So if we stop that, you can see we're on minus six seconds there. Yep. It did definitely add some pressure to the game. Yeah. Now, there are some very technical ways to say if we've got to zero, then stop. But actually, there's another way. So let me show you another way. If we ditch that entire script for a moment. But bin all of it. Well, let's keep the I first two blocks. Yeah, keep I think the we green need green flag and setting to 10 seconds. But get rid right. of the So I put that in the bin. Yep, just drag that away. And we're going to repeat this time. So if you drag in repeat 10. Just under forever there, look. Yep. And then go back to variables and do your change by minus one. OK, so change timer by minus one. And then, oops, minus two, good lord. Yeah, you could do that. Like uh, that. We'll put the one second wait in there. Yeah. So it'll only do those two things ten times. Yeah, but there's this really cool thing. If you scroll down the control section on the left-hand side, yeah. uh, there's a stop all, big red button at the bottom. Oh, yeah. And if you put that under the repeat loop. In there. No, not inside. Or out under it completely. After it. So what's going to happen okay. is it's going to repeat this counting down for ten seconds. Then when it's finished doing it, stop everything. OK. Give it a go. See how all far right. you can get in ten seconds. Right. Play properly this time. Oh, it's oh no, that's, that's definitely cost him four made, seconds left. Who made this game? Who Three, made it? <laughs> two, one. It's rubbish. This game's rubbish. And you go and you see the music stopped, and the shark stopped, and everything stopped. And your score at the end of that was zero because the fish, for some reason, didn't register the score. But we'll worry about that another time. Okay. There we go. Good luck.